All right, we're gonna get a little geeky. We are gonna, yeah, we are gonna get a little geeky. I'm not even sorry about that. I am at heart a geek. I am. I'm the guy that's got the midnight showing for Star Wars: Rise of Skywalker. Don't judge me. So it's all right if we get a little bit geeky now and again, isn't it? We're gonna talk about Apple Podcasts API. Apple Podcasts API. I know that's a little bit boring and it sounds a little bit bizarre, but I promise you, I'm gonna try and make it a little bit interesting. We're gonna talk about what it is and why. It matters. This is the Podcast Accelerator. I'm your host, Mark Ask, with that British podcast guy and CEO and co-founder here at Rebel Base Media, where we make such podcasting tools as podcast websites, the number one WordPress platform for podcasters in the world. If you want to build your brand, if you want to own your domain, if you want to own your online podcasting brand, Podcast Websites is the platform for you, which integrates beautifully with our other podcast hosting, analytics and marketing platform, Captivate.fm. So please go and check both those out if you are so inclined. Now, we are going to talk a little bit geeky. We're going to talk about Apple Podcasts API. It's not something that I'd ordinarily talk about, but it's one of those things like that can confuse people. How do I do certain things in the podcasting industry? How do I maximize my exposure? And so on and so forth. And Apple Podcasts API is at the, uh, the front of that. And it's also a bit of a risk in the industry, which I'll talk about in just one second. But before I do that, quick shout out, holler to Aweber, the team at Aweber, who consistently help me to communicate with you the ever, 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 ever-present listener, for which I thank you. And it's always fantastic. I send episode notes out about my show, so, you know, when this goes out today, of course, I'll be sending an email out to my list saying, do you know what? Guess who's got a new episode out? It's me. And people respond to me, and people, you know, they come back to me asking questions. And we have some real engagement on that. It's a real way to build fans and friendships, which I'm a, a massive, massive fan of myself, just building friends. Because ultimately, we're all just people, aren't we? So if you want to connect with people, I guess that's what podcasting is about. Connect with people on their terms, on your terms, and just help to build relationships, then you need to be checking out Aweber. Go and check it out, 90 days, markasquith.com slash Aweber. Right. Apple's podcast API is one of those unseen behemoths that sits behind the scenes, never troubles anyone, but yet powers a lot of the podcasting industry. So what is it and why should you care? Well, ultimately, the the letters API stand for Application Program Interface. Captivate has one. Captivate has an API. And what it is, is like, imagine that you've got this platform in Captivate or you've got Apple Podcasts or you've got, you know, any other kind of software platform that you've got. Imagine being able to bolt on, you know, like R2-D2, when he is in the Death Star and he he trundles up to the wall and he sticks a little kind of uh, little plug into the socket of the Death Star, does a little clockwise and anticlockwise turn and he's able to access the computer of the Death Star. He download, downloads all the information and sure enough, He's, he's, he's interfaced. He has interfaced with the desk and he's got that information. That is essentially what an API allows you to do with software. It's like plugging a USB-C cable into some software so that you can transfer data or you can do certain things. So Captivate's got an API. It's the way that Ali2, the podcast maker, the online editor, it, it allows you to edit your podcast and then using Captivate's API which is very secure. You secure it using your own API key. And the way that it works is that Ali2 can then send data over to Captivate. That's why the workflow is super simple. You can edit in Ali2 and you can just publish straight out to Captivate. It's a single, simple, seamless workflow. That's via an API, right? So Apple has got one of these. So Apple's got its podcast directory, big old directory. It has an API. So basically someone can plug in a USB cable into that into the application program interface, into the API and say, give me some data. And guess what? People do do that. Some of the more notable people that do that, you know, we'll do it with our reviews module for Captivate and podcast websites. So if we want to get all of your reviews, we will plug in the USB cable. Programmatically using code, we'll effectively plug in a USB cable into the API and say, give us all this info about this show. And then we give it to you. And we just display that contextually in your dashboard. Now, there are other places in the podcast industry that do this, and this is why Apple's podcast API is, is this behemoth behind the scenes. Overcast, Pocket Casts, a few of these other bigger Android um, podcast listening devices, Pocket uh, Overcast in particular, is a huge, huge piece of market share. I think it's got like 10, 11, 12%, depending on the data that you look at, of podcast listening market share as an app. It relies on Apple's podcasting API. It relies on Apple's podcasting API. So what it does is, when you submit to Apple Podcasts, and we cover this in the Captivate.fm distribution section, we make it very easy to see, actually, if you're in Apple Podcasts, you're in all these other places as well. So there are loads of them. If you're in Apple, 
effectively you end up in overcasts and pocket casts and all these other places that pull in information from Apple's API, which is why it's so vital. I actually wrote a piece about this, and it was it was inspired by a conversation James Cridlin from Prop Pod News, one of our fantastic Captivate advisors, had a while ago about actually this is one of the biggest threats to the podcasting industry because suddenly if Apple pulled that API out, I don't think they ever would do, and certainly having spoken to them, I, I, I never get any inclination that they would ever do that. But assuming they did, let's just assume <laughs> dystopian future, Apple pulls the API, then actually Overcast has got no way of getting information about your podcast, so suddenly that service stops. Or it has to find another way. It has to pay someone else, or it has to pay Apple. You see, so it's quite a, it's quite a big thing. You know, it can be quite a big risk in the industry. Like I said, I don't think that will ever happen. But the reason I want to talk to you about it today is that we see so many people asking, "How do I get into places like Overcast? How do I get into places like Pocket Cast? How do I get into places like all these Android listening devices and these listening apps?" Well, guess what? Actually. If you're an Apple podcast, their API is doing the job for you. So Apple gets a bit of a beating. You know, Apple does get, you know, Apple gets 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 slated quite a lot on Twitter and Facebook and, you know, being, <clears throat> I guess, called out for, 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 for not innovating much in the space, which I don't believe. I think they're, they're doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. I don't believe any of that stuff. But... Ultimately, they've they've created this API that does power so much of the industry from an unseen perspective. They do honestly, and they just let us use it for free. They just let us use it for free. That's not bad, is it? Like that's fair. So by submitting from say Captivate.fm, your hosting platform via the distribution center into Apple Podcast, their API is like I said, it's like this socket that someone can plug into and get information about your podcast. Okay, so like I said, Overcast and the rest of those Android players, some of the uh, the, the the more kind of niche podcast players out there, um, the apps on some of the other the, the platforms, they'll just go to Apple's API and say, right, give me Marco's information, so that when I search for the podcast accelerator in Overcast, that information's there, it's up to date, and it's come from Apple directly. All right. That's why it's vital to get your show in ship shape order. That's why it's vital that your show is in Apple. That's why, you know, as as annoying as it sounds and as it was last year when Apple came out or earlier this year, I forget when it was, came out and said, you need to take your episode numbers out because we're revamping this. We're going to give you a special episode number field so that we can then release Apple Podcasts for the desktop and it'll be a much better experience. When people were having to take those episode numbers out of the titles, I know it was annoying, but by doing that, Actually, you, you're giving people the best chance of finding your show via the API as well, because actually it's well-formatted data. So that API will feed that well-formatted data to all of these other places. So you're not just going to appear better in Apple Podcasts. Like they weren't just doing this with the episode numbers to annoy us. They were doing it for a really good reason. So you're going to be well-represented in all of these other apps as well. It's not just Apple. All right. So that's the API. All right. That's Apple Podcast API. A little bit geeky than I normally do. Um, so... You know, I hope you found that useful. Let me know if you want to chat on that at Mr. Asquith on the Twitter or drop me an email if you get my emails, just hit reply and we can talk on that. So many of you do. And uh, and listen, thank you for joining me. It's always a pleasure. I love talking podcasting, podcasting. I bloody love it. So let me know what I can do. It's always a real pleasure to chat to you. Tell anyone that you know in podcasting that would benefit from this show that it exists, go and tell them where they can listen to it for free, of course, in any app that they choose to listen in. And Go and check out Captivate.fm for your podcast hosting, analytics, and marketing needs. And until next time, thanks for joining me once more. And never forget, the more you expect from yourself, the more you will excel.